desolate planet. He is a soldier. Alone with his enemy. Don't you understand English, toad face? I don't love you and you don't love me. We're stranded here, you understand? His suspicion will change <laughs> to tolerance. You saved my life. Why? I need to look at another face, even as ugly as yours. Tolerance will lead to friendship. We should open up a little place here. I could ruin the food. You could scare away the customers. <laughs> and with that friendship will come an overwhelming responsibility. You must be a parent. Don't get around, Jerry. You must take my place. Protecting a life he values more than his own. Dennis Quaid, Louis Gossett Jr., Wolfgang Peterson's Enemy Mine. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on Enemy Mine. And the film stars Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. And it's based off uh, the book of the same name by Barry B. Longyear. And the film was directed by Wolfgang Peterson. Uh, Wolfgang Peterson, of course, directed uh, The Never End of Story, which, surprisingly, I have never seen. I heard really good things about The Never End of Story. Uh, he also directed uh, Air Force One, Troy, The Perfect Storm, Poseidon, which I enjoy Poseidon. It's a remake of the Poseidon Adventure, but I know a lot of people don't like uh, Wolfgang Peterson's Poseidon, but I enjoyed it. I was on the edge of my seat uh, when I watched uh, that film. Very intense. But Enemy Mine, this is a film that I've been wanting to check out seen the trailer to it uh, from time to time, but just never got around to uh, you know watching the film. But just got done uh, watching the film uh, today, and I love this movie. This is a very good uh, sci-fi drama film. Uh, had a good story. Uh, two characters, you know, Dennis Quaid and Lucy Gossett Jr.'s characters, uh, very enjoyable. Uh, and has a good story, and yeah, the effects are dated, but at the time, the effects were impressive. Uh, the effects were done by Industrial Light and Magic, and uh, basically what the film is about is there's this uh, war between humans and Drax, and these Drax are these uh, reptilian humanoids, and uh, Will Deveridge, who is played by Dennis Quaid, he hates these uh, Drax, and his uh, ship crash lands on this alien planet, and he sees uh, you know, Drac, uh, who is played by Louis Gossett Jr., which he calls Jerry, and you know, at first, you know, they're enemies, they don't like each other, and as you know, these two characters, you know, progress uh, through the film, you know, they set their differences aside, and they become friends, and, you know, they cooperate uh, with each other, and they got to uh, survive uh, together. And basically, you know, that's what the plot to the film is about. But like I said, uh, Will Diveridge and Jerry, played by Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr., they worked really well together. You care about these two. You care about them uh, putting their differences to the side and you know becoming friends and ju just trying to survive. 
But like I said, they worked really well uh, together. And, you know, throughout uh, their time, uh, as the film progresses, you know, you actually uh, care about them. And the set designs in space thought were very good. They looked really well. Uh, you have also the, uh, the wormhole and the creature that was in the wormhole. I thought those uh, looked uh, really cool. And yeah, later on you have uh, Jerry played by Louis Gossett Jr. He ends up uh, you know, pregnant with this child because Drax can reproduce asexually by self-fertilization. So he ends up uh, having this child and uh, he ends up uh, dying. So Dennis Quaid ends up uh, raising uh, this child, uh, which he uh, names uh, Zamis, who is played by Bumper Robinson. And I really like uh, the scenes uh, with Zamis and uh, Dennis Quaid's character. Uh, there's a scene where, you know, Dennis Quaid is like, you're a Drax, I'm human. And I thought that uh, was, you know, done really well. And Zombies ends up calling Dennis Quaid's character uncle. So, but really uh, like uh, those scenes there with, that involve them. Uh, you have uh, Brian James who plays uh, Stubbs, who is like the scavenger leader. Because uh, they're these scavengers that have come on uh, this planet. Pretty much, basically, he's the bad guy. And Brian James, you know, he's no longer with us, but you all know him. He played uh, Leon Kowalski in Blade Runner. And he's been in a lot of other stuff, like The Fifth Element uh, he was in, which Fifth Element I really enjoy. But Enemy Mine, it is a good movie. I really love uh, this film. It has a great story, which, you know, the story, you know, gets, you know, very emotional as it, you know, progresses, and the two leads, Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr., like I said, they worked really well together, you care about these two, and I thought they did a good job. The makeup on Louis Gossett Jr. as Jerry uh, was very good, really liked uh, the makeup that was done on him, uh, the sets in space uh, looked really good, the effects by Industrial Light and Magic at the time, like I said, like I said, at the time, it looked good, but when you watch it nowadays, you know, it comes off dated concern. You know, it's mid-80s that it was made. It was made in 1984, but released in 1985. And the film had some issues. Uh, it was originally going to be directed by Richard Long Crane, I think that's how you pronounce uh, his last name. And the film had a budget of $18 million, and he chose to shoot the film in Iceland and Budapest. And the producers became concerned about, you know, the film having budget overruns and creative differences. Uh, there was one uh, executive that said uh, it looked like planet Earth. And it was costing uh, millions of dollars to create a different look for the film. And they said how Louis Gossett Jr.'s costume made it, the film made it look like uh, they were doing a cheap 50s B-horror movie. So filming was stopped. And the studio, 20th Century Fox, had spent $9 million in production costs. And so they end up uh, letting go uh, Richard Lone Crane. And then at that time, uh, Fox had a new chairman. And uh, they decided to uh, move ahead with a new director, Wolfgang Peterson. So they end up uh, bringing him aboard. And they end up starting production after... Uh, he was done with the never-ending story. So the film uh, moved the production from Budapest to Munich. And large sets were constructed. And it included uh, Louis Gossett Jr.'s uh, drag makeup being redesigned. And it took several months uh, on its own. And uh, the film uh, finished seven months after its delay. It originally planned at about $17 million and then it rose to $29 million and it ended up costing more than $40 million with the marketing. And the film only made $12 million, so it was a flop at the box office, which is a shame. 
And the reason why it flopped was because Fox uh, felt that the film uh, was difficult to market to the audience, you know, of a story of these two species evolving from being enemies to uh, being friends. And the studio ended up uh, pushing the uh, marketing uh, before Thanksgiving of that year. So, but it says, what any enemy mind costing over 40 million, the studio hoped for a large first weekend opening. And that did not occur. The film pulled in only 1 million, 1.6 million at 703 theaters nationwide. As of Christmas day of 1985, the film had taken in $2.3 million at the box office. When asked exactly how much the movie would have to take in during its theatrical run to make its money back, its money back, a Fox executive replied, "It doesn't really matter because it's not going to do it." So, but that's that's a shame. But Enemy Mine is a good movie. Really loved it. It's one that I would worth uh, recommend watching. Uh, great story. Uh, Good characters in Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. And it's worth the watch. So, but anyway, but uh, also uh, it did get a Blu-ray release and it's out of print. It costs a lot of money on uh, eBay from what I saw. Uh, might as well pick up the DVD at some point. Because there's no way in hell I'm going to be getting the Blu-ray because of how out of print it is and how much you know money it costs. So if I could find a copy of the film on DVD, I would uh, pick it up. So, but anyways, that's it for my review of Enemy Mine. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later tonight with the Monday Night Raw review. So, see you all tonight for Monday Night Raw.